Hi there. Um, what I'm going to show today, I'm going to attempt to show you um, what's called an overlifting attack on a wafer lock. And what we're looking at here is the, uh, the keyway lock on a uh, little document, fireproof document safe. Uh, it's a wafer lock. So we're in the unlock position there. See, I open it up. It's got this little latch up here. I'll latch it up and we will turn it to the locked position. Now, the way that this works is, um, see we have our key here, and I'm using a paper clip that will approximate the width of a key blank for this same key. And what that will do as I insert it in the keyway is to force the wafers to their extreme position as if there were no cuts in this key and no bidding in this key. It would force the wafers to their extreme position in the plug. Then I apply a turning force as I pull this object out of the keyway, which hopefully will then trap those wafers as they try to snap back across the plug into the turning region of the plug. So let's go ahead and give it a try. See what happens. Here's the, uh, here's the object I'm inserting. Just going to stick it in just like a key. It's a little bit wider, but it should compress into the space as I push it to the back. And I'm going to apply a slight counterclockwise rotation and then start to pull it out. It tends to get caught on some of the wording in there. I gotta get it past that to get it out. Oh, didn't quite I must have lost one of the wafers there. Let's try it again. So now I'm in. I'm pinching some of my thickness here. So I'm losing a little push. So I'm going to spread that back out and reinsert it. There we go. It's nice and tight in there. Start to pull it out. A little click. That, there we go. We are now in the unlocked position and pull it up and open it. So there you have it. That's an overlifting attack using a uh, small paper clip to approximate the width of a key blank for this wafer lock. Thanks for watching.